My point is that this community is full of spurgs who know nothing about anime or anime culture commenting on oh. anime culture, no. In fact, tips aside, going on Twitter and liking sexualized lolly pictures in some sort of oh, solidarity man. with his friend. What the? <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> Bo Blacks blows Blacks would sell his entire career down the river for one lick of gok excretion. Dude, what is wrong with you guys today? That's gross, man. Yekim, uh, why don't you just hop on the call? Tell me about how great your girlfriend is and how she's young and tight. <laughs> Dude, that is so insane. It's such an insane idea of content. What makes oh. this even more horrendous is that so oh, 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 oh. picture as a reference image for King Cart. Essence of Thought was willing to call this dis dis disgusting degeneracy out for what it is, but Tipster couldn't. This Ooh. whole situation has honestly ruined anime for me so much that I, I never want to watch anime again. I don't want anything to do with anime. I can't tell you, I'm actually looking forward to this as well. Oh my God, man. I am an unrepentant, unreserved, tip tent enjoyer okay i can't help myself i just can't help myself man it's just impossible i feel like i did kind of cover this drama the other day in not in full but like i watched the main streams about it didn't i but yeah i looked at it and you know it gave me a kind of new insight into what happened because i've said before from the outside looking in it seemed like tipster was a bit of a buffoon but people were like you know a bit extreme with it, but now I see, now I get it now. I do get it, okay? I get why people, I get why fucking Nick is a tip storian. I get why people go crazy over this. I understand now, okay? I get it. What you, what you want to do? What, what, what are we going to do next weekend? Want to hang out? Want to grab some drinks? Maybe go to a bar? I don't know. What, what do you feel like doing? What do you feel like doing? That's what he wants. Is that Jessica Pizzoli responding to as well? Is that right? At Jessica Pizzle. At Banish Journal. Next weekend, let's do it. And then he responds with that video. <laughs> That's so cringe, man. Why? At least keep it in the DMs, Tippy. Come on. <laughs> that doesn't always work for him. Grab some drinks, maybe go to a bar. I don't know. What do you, what do you feel like doing? What do you feel like doing? That's why you got blocked, because this doesn't have anything to do with me, and you really want to make it about me. Enjoy your little 15 uh, seconds of fame, loser. As if, like, oh my god, I have to respond to every single person who ever criticizes me on the internet. Back off, Tubby. She needs a real nine-incher right now. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, like, release this call or i'm not gonna do some video i'm sorry i don't know if this is your autism but that was a completely different day I yeah you about my soundboard i love my soundboard my soundboard's great tipster nobody in your audience likes your soundboard cheers my oh my god so true what was the one recently that he's been doing it's this one isn't it it's this one i don't have it to hang because i don't obviously have a soundboard you know you are coping, coping and seeding. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seeding. The truth is scalding, and now you are molding and coping. Coping so hard. Dude, I'm like, coping and I wanted to stop. I want it to stop, but he plays the whole thing. He doesn't just play a bit of it, like a little first segment. He plays the whole thing and just sits there and lets it play out. What an outdated reference. Well, it's a Giga Chad meme, isn't it? Because you've got the little molding guy and then there's all the Giga Chads dancing around in the background and stuff. Oof. My horse, love ya, no pedo. Last time we covered the history of Tipster, from his rise from gaming news to drama coverage and all the controversies he got in. From completely self-imploding in conversations with bigger YouTubers, to his crusty tweets about his goth mummies, and his meltdown over jokes made about one of his tweets. And we left off at the end of 2022, with Tipster having his worst year so far. 
first, one of his closest friends leaks pages of their DMs with each oh, other, no. which made him look weird and often weak. And then Tipster was needlessly getting involved into the commentary community's small sectors. Whether it's spreading rumours and telling a person who tried to take their life that they are baiting it for attention, or getting back with a friend who leaked his DMs, only for her to force her child to call someone slurs of a Discord, or quite literally auctioning the pride of him and his wife. Okay, I'm willing to forgive you for oh. what happened before. Yeah. And Pretty I'm willing easily. to give you a a, a, a handsome donation. Uh, 160. Face Bob. Tipster, face Bob. Me ain't getting nowhere. Because you realize me calling the you realize, Tipster, I have dogs barking at their $175. Tipster, listen. You'd think this would be Tipster's lowest point ever. Losing to Spurgs, fing up a mentally ill people. None of these were the final blow in any regard. They just added on to the bandwagon of people who disliked him. And it would be the next situation that he started 2023 that completely destroyed Tips's reputation in the community. This is Toastify. Oh, sorry, did I not say? Toastify's great. And if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe to the channel. Brilliant videos. If you're looking for somewhere to start with their videos, I would recommend their video about the French girl. Commentary's biggest kept secret, or whatever it's called. Great video, strong recommend. Definitely get yourself in there, get yourself watching, and enjoy. As all of Tipster's worst controversies have begun, this one started with a situation that he totally could have avoided. In place of AP, Tipster had gotten a new prime goth army eagle by the name of Rum. Although she was. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> they all look the same, eh? They all look exactly the same. It was nowhere near as annoying or insane, but she was pretty weird. On February 19th, 2023, a commentary orbiter by the name of Alex Gekmo posted a tweet exposing Rum for liking, quote, Little Girl Lolly CP on main. Whilst I'm obviously not going to show the image here, it's a drawing of someone who obviously looks like a child and has explicit clothing on. Yes, Chris the Narc. How are you doing? Hope you're well, mate. Yes, that is true. So Rum is now like, I think in the, even in the comments of this video or the other video, has disowned Tipster and said they should have burned the bridge sooner, right? So Rum now is trying to, you know, get, get a shot of it all. On. Although they're not engaged in sexual activity as would be implied. But regardless, if you're normal, you'd think this is lolly and it's fucking weird. But unlike DJ Screwdriver's yeah. tweet about AP, Alex never mentioned Tipster in his tweet, instead mentioning other orbiters that AP was friends with. So how did Tipster get involved this time? Well, it's because Rum got a bit of oh, backlash no. from a tweet and vented about it to Tipster, to which he decided to get involved, tweeting this. I see the usual suspects are trying to call someone out for liking lolly when they don't know what the f lolly actually is. Some things never change. Okay, I mean, I have covered this fairly recently, but uh, maybe, oh, this commentary exodus stuff would be good. But yeah, I mean, dude, like, sometimes you just got to watch your friend take an L. I don't know what to tell you. Why would you get involved and fucking defend someone that's indefensible? It's so stupid. It's Lolly Tipster. It's a cartoon of a child in nothing but a strip of clothing covering the flat chest and crotch. Had to unfollow Rum because her liking it put that disgusting to my timeline. Why is it a child? Because it had small tits? Guess grown ass women never had small tits before. Small tits? The girl has no tits, Tipster. It's clearly a child. You think it's Lolly, but you are comfortable tweeting it? Lol. To show you that there's a kid, because clearly you're giving Rum too much benefit of the doubt and need to see what she likes. This is pedo sh. I've seen it already and I don't think it's Lolly. I've seen video game characters that look like this and no one bats an eye. Whoa, Tipster, what kind of fucking video games are you playing? <laughs> I disagree, also I've never seen a video game character dressed like that while it's looking that young. You have an example. My point is that this community is full of spurgs who know nothing about anime or anime culture commenting on oh. anime culture, no. Oh my god, Tipster, <laughs> stop, Tipster, stop. It looks so, Jesus, looks awful. I stand by my take. Rum did nothing wrong. I will... Oh no, I didn't see this, I don't think. This level, fucking hell, dude. Going so hard at it too. Why? It's just, like, it's so unnecessary. There's no need to do this. Why? <laughs> just because someone's a woman. Oh. Because the thing is, is, it's not, you're not just defending a friend in a normal sense. You are underlining their credibility with your credibility, you know? It's kind of like a loan. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Brain blast, brain blast, brain blast. Right? You're giving a loan. You're giving a, lo a credibility loan to someone, okay? This is what Tommy C did with Ian Miles Chong. He gave a credibility loan to Ian Miles Chong and it turns out Ian Miles Chong lied about his uh, 
financial situation and wasn't able to repay the credibility loan when time came to pay up, right? Okay. The same thing here. You're you're taking, in Tipster's case, your limited credibility and fucking giving a line of credibility credit to some fucking retard who likes lolly. Like, and, you know, you're fucking, in this case, it's uh, not that they lied to you necessarily. Well, maybe they did lie to you, but also you're just a bad lender and you made a bad lending decision and you lent to someone who has got very poor credibility rating and uh, it came out to bite you. Yo, that's actually a really good way of looking at it. I like that. That's good. And then when the chips are down, when it time, comes time to cash in and they're like, oh, sorry, you lent me your credibility, but uh, I spent all of that. and Now I've got no credibility left. So that's going to fucking bite you now. And your fucking credibility stocks are going to take a hit. Dude, that is, ex oh my God, that is fucking perfect. Um, what did I miss between Tommy C and Ian Miles Chong? Um, oh, basically, Tommy C backed up Ian Miles Chong on the swatting allegation. But then it turned out he did admit to swatting. And yeah, he got fucked over for it, you know. Yes, I'm self-glazing, Stylo. Can I not self-glaze once in a while, man? Come on. Die on that hill. Gonna have to disagree, Tipster. Lolly are typically sexualized children, and this is a sexualized child. Really? You know the background of this character? You know the rage? Damn, dude, where'd you find that info? Tipster, 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 no. Long time ago, Why long resolved. Why are you donning the anime weep fedora for the stop? Bro, stop, you're making the 9,000 year old dragon argument. Well, surely it can't get any worse. Oh god, Mr. Girl said it was Lolly. Mr. Girl said it was Lolly. The guy whose entire expertise on pedophilia said it was Lolly. That is a child. Bro, no grown woman looks like that. You wouldn't know. Pretty sure grown women won't f terminally online basement dwellers. Oh, I'm uh, just getting it through facts that he called into Doc on the radio's livestream later. Hopefully, this is just a big misunderstanding to be killed up because Tipster is a man not entitled to the cum of his own cock. <laughs> <laughs> Tipster will defend the worst stuff for a sniff of a woman's clit. Oh my god, it got to be it's so grotesque. But it's true, but it is true. If you're defending this, sh it's really f weird. So, Tipster, I like to I explain just... your thought process of some of your tweets you've made. By the way, I've not really had much interaction with Doc on the radio. Um, I've seen some of his stuff. Yes, I'm going to glaze again. But yeah, his uh, every time I've watched one of his little fucking little commentary drama things he's been the master of ceremonies for, um, I'm always entertained. I'm always entertained by it, you know. It's often stuff that is very small fry, but it is very good. And he does a very good job, at, you know, moving things forward. So yeah, I am a Doc on the Radio fan. About um... uh, So my thought process is that, like, I feel like a lot of the people who are chiming in on this situation don't know shit about anime. They have done stylized art of characters that are clearly adults in nature in similar uh, art styles. It's clearly well, what stylized. Do you mean by, art. What, do you mean, what do you mean by stylized? And meaning all the characters are done in the same art style. So looking like kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no. to you, it looks like kids, but like just what? just because you think something is a kid doesn't mean it's a kid. I mean, by that I, logic, you bro, can make the same I... argument that that 24 year old reality star who everybody says looks like a kid is a kid. Does Tipsa not know that the the reality star has had people creep on her because of how she looks? Is your is your, is not your first reaction looking at that like that looks like a kid? What do you mean? Like, no, what? no. It what? Looks like That's not your first reaction. I want I want to hear Izzy's. The point. reason why I brought this up is because this is the same character they brought up in the similar art style in five ways. And there this are is not a similar fans. art style. No, We're looking me, at a three D character sir, here. Sir, How is that a similar you, art style, sir, my dude? Sir, sir, I know you, you like want to run so your, hard you to be right. Wait, 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 this artist interacts with this user. The user responds saying, "The children that Mochi-san draws look so kind and weak, so cute." Let's say, let's say that this is referring to children that this person draws. My whole point was that we don't have enough information to deduce that this is a child. But if it came out that yes, okay, these are child characters, okay. then like I would one hundred percent concede. Bro, it's called common sense. The sh oh my god. Then why be okay? Look. Then why not come forward with that? 
why not? Why come forward with a sort of smug, condescending comment about other people? Why not come forward and just? Or why? Come, well, first of all, why come forward at all? Obviously, but if you do want to come forward, come forward and just be like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't fit. Look, I don't know how to spin this one. Okay, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know if there is a way to come forward. I don't think you can come forward in a way to make this look better, right? Fucking hell, man. Should not be like a King Arthur Knights of the Round Table. Yeah, just no one asked him. I don't even. I don't even have to say anything. No one fucking asked him for his opinion. He just offered it because a woman that he liked was in bad trouble. <laughs> Never defend a woman against the indefensible. You know, in the in the face of indefensible action, it's not worth it. Okay. Think. Well, I've just been told he went on Keemstar's stream after this. Maybe this was just a bad call, and let's uh let's hear him out. Hopefully he. Well, first of all, what I want to get into is you guys are saying that I'm defending Lolly, and I would never defend Lolly. Okay, I don't advocate for Lolly. But you're defending the girl who who's liked liking it. Lolly who for liked liking it. Lolly. So indirectly, you're defending it, right? But my interpretation is that it's not Lolly. Okay, so Tipster, how would you define Lolly in your own personal opinion? Sexualized depictions of children, but the thing is, we don't know if this like particular character is a child. Okay, That's so my only ask, argument here. So let me ask you a question: If I were to draw a picture of a child, right, and then you were to look at me and said, "Well, you will," that's a picture of a child you just drew. But I were to say, "No, okay, it's not a wonderful. child. It's actually." But how do I make forty-year-old woman off depressed right? people? people? Where's the connection? Right and I'm sure people are right about tips to too. Nobody runs interference this hard if you aren't dipping into it too. Well, that's interesting. Maybe the ten dollars. Um, because people have said as much, right? And it's like a bit of like, oh, you know, is Tipster is Tipster into Lolly? Perhaps <laughs> like is that why he's so defensive of it? I think for me, you know, listen, I'm very careful in my in my affairs. I just think that I would not want to like nece unnecessarily label someone or something. And I think there's a, a more understandable reason. Well, let's just think about this. So he did it. So he did it with this because a woman was involved and he wanted to defend a woman. What about the Vosh thing? Was that more of a clout thing, maybe, and thinking he could intervene because H three had used that clip of him? Dude, <laughs> listen, okay. For me, it is the last precipice, okay? I understand some people probably want me to... I'm sure some people think he just definitely is, and that's fine. That's an understandable perspective, okay? But it's like the last precipice, isn't it? You know, it's like, for me, he's like literally teetering on the edge. And listen, he's at a fucking difficult position with the BM. Mm. Dude. It's plausible. It's plausible at this point, right? It's plausible. there like it at the end of the day does it look like a child does it resemble a child right if it looks like a child and it's being sexualized that is sexualizing a child right in for in the form of an image in the form of an image like it, i don't see how there's some sort of disconnect there i think it just comes down to like a agree to disagree oh there's the classic tippy tunnel vision agree to disagree from tipster hitting you right there again perfectly valid point completely blunted by fake concession he does not want to have this conversation right now okay so you say that you don't like the image right so i want to ask you does that does looking at that image in any way make you feel uncomfortable do i think it's like a really creepy weird looking piece sure but i don't think it's lolly okay so then let me ask you a question what are the factors that draw you to say that this is a very creepy weird looking piece because we also agree this is a very weird creepy looking piece and the reason why we say that is because it looks like a child you, say, you could say it's you could say it's bad art or it's not it's not a well-drawn piece but what makes you say that it's creepy and it's unsettling right you're saying the words creepy and unsettling so what is leading you to come to that conclusion because it, mind, again it it's not like a it's child. not a, it's not a piece that i'm fond of i don't i don't like this art particular art piece bro he just said i'm not fond of that piece Okay, wait, is this the real or fake image? Hang on a minute. <laughs> I tell you what, he is quite an avid game collector, isn't he? Look, he's got a bunch of games. What are they? Those PlayStation 2 games, are they? Fucking hell. Jesus. Oh, man.
face? What, do we have to get you to jerk off to it and study the post-nut clarity to see if it looks like a child? What an absurd point to make. Why can't you just admit, though, that the reason why it's creepy and unsettling is because it looks like a child? Like, yep, that's all. Fair. That's the only bridge that we're failing to connect here. It's creepy and unsettling to you because it looks like a f***ing lewd child. That's what it looks like. You're, that, you're literally saying that. If it didn't look like that, then it wouldn't be creepy or unsettling to you at all. Like, you're literally admitting to it without admitting to it. I don't know. I just feel like we're going around in circles here because I've given my position on this and it just seems like you guys want me to say something that you're expecting. Okay. I'm not... Okay. I feel the way I feel about it and it is what it is. Oh, it's another classic Tippy Tunnel vision. It's just a fake concession. We're going in circles. It is what it is. Tipster does not want to answer the question because he can't. And I think it's like gross how people are always on a pedo hunt to try and label people okay. as pedophiles okay. and it's like what because they like anime and anime art this is Tip retarded Tipster. and i'm sorry Tipster. i just agree with you guys and you for trying to turn this into tipster likes lolly and tipster is what am i lolly. supposed Go to think yourself. what Tipster, am i Tipster. supposed to think when you're saying that you're yeah. gonna die on this hill tips yeah i mean listen Got a hand at the Keemstar on that one. I mean, what are you supposed to think? <laughs> like, if it, if someone is consistently doing it, that's why I say it's such a plausible theory, because why on earth would you have so many scandals defending Lolly for various different people in various different fucking contexts? <sighs> oh, maybe I'm going to get convinced. Now he left. He left. He's saying, I will die Bro. on this hill. I will die on this hill. Bro, if you care so much that this isn't Lolly, if you care that much that you're tweeting out, I'm going to die on this Ooh. hill, then something's wrong and I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to stress, I plucked around half of the clips from this eight minute conversation and the rest of it is just the same stuff I showed you. It's Keemstar and Packard asking Tipster what makes it so weird and him dodging. It was like pulling teeth to get an answer from Tipster, but it gets worse. You'd think he would stop here, but no. In fact, Tipster started going on Twitter and liking sexualized lolly pictures in some sort of oh, solidarity man. with his friend. What the f I heard about this. I never saw it though. I never saw it though, but I heard about this. So yeah, Tipster. <laughs> Do you want to get that? It's that part too. It's that aspect of it too. Like imagine him there, enraged, probably drunk, just scrolling through, rapidly liking weird fucking anime sex art. To... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> you know, listen, I've definitely, you know, I look back on stuff and I cringe and I'm like, ooh. I'm like, shouldn't have done this, shouldn't have done that, whatever. But there's some behavior that is just so alien to me that I, I cannot get my head around it. I cannot wrap my head around that action, even at my worst, most retarded, fucking gay, cringe moment that I would go and just like a bunch of random art that to show solid that. Like, it's just such an insane thing to do. It's like, it's just, it's low-cal behavior. It's low-cal behavior, isn't it, you know? It's like a Twitter meltdown, but like in a terrible way. It's like tweeting through it, but kind of weirder. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, just getting this in right now. Apparently he went on Xylee's stream and looked like even more of an idiot. I have gone on record on Doc's show to say that if it comes out that this this artist says that this is a child, I will concede that yes, okay, they're <laughs> identifying it as a child. There's no question about it at that point. But I am not in any way oh. endorsing like the existence of lolly no. i don't consume lolly content i'm not in favor of the existence of lolly content i'm not even saying that this necessarily isn't lolly i'm saying we don't know i don't know how it could be any clearer that character could be a nine thousand year old dragon but at the end of the day it looks like i stand by my take rump and dump did nothing wrong i will die on that hill and then on top of that as well he, he plays it off like he was just calling it into question but obviously the tweets were very smug and condescending, right? So it's like, yeah, you were saying, oh, you were a bit more conclusive than you're trying to act now. Like a child. It's hard to even be neutral in such like a clear-cut situation. And Tips is not even the neutral party here. He's making tweets defending Rum, saying she did nothing wrong without the situation even concluding. But that's another thing is you're saying that she said it's lolly and even she didn't say that. Yes, she did. What are you talking no, about? No, yes, she, she did, did not say that. She did not say that she thought she it was lolly. She said that looks like a child. That I don't think that's what she said. 
and that she liked it by accident. That's what she said on my show. Wait, so on Keemstar's show, oh, no. Rum, the person being accused, called in and said it looked like a child. And we've seen oh. tweets about the artwork and how childlike it looks. Tipster, what are you even defending anymore? That is devastating, man. That is so devastating. <laughs> That is the worst, isn't it? Defending someone else when they're not even fucking defending themselves. Um, you know, wait a minute. Shit. Is Repzilla wait, wait, wait. in this shop? Diesel. Everyone's asking Repzilla to join. Diesel, look at this tweet that's connected to that picture in question. What does it say? It's blurry for me. Yeah, it's, it's blurry. You gotta... Yeah, I can't see anything either. Oh. It's a boy. So wait, 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 wait. This entire time, Ooh. Tits' interpretation of this lollicon artwork has been based on the tits. He literally says, why is it a child? Because it had small tits. Guess grown ass women never had small tits before. It's not oh. even a girl. It's a f boy. This is unbelievable. Now with the revelation that this artwork was actually of a boy, you'd think Tipster would stop there. And in fairness, he did post a tweet, which looked like it was finishing this whole situation off. But Tipster just couldn't let it go. He needed to dig his hole deeper. And so on February 23rd, yes. 2023, he uploaded his- Yes! Oh my God, this is, uh, honestly, now I know about this and understand the context and everything about it, having looked at this a couple of times now. Oh, dude, it's so good. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Evil tips to be like, I won't defend lowly multiple times a year. I won't flirt with e-women in the middle of the night. I won't chase trans women. Thank you very much for the 333 evil tipster. It's the thumbnail, the way he looks in it, the font. Is that the Resident Evil font? The fucking frame. Oh my god, it is just 10 out of 10. No notes. Career Death Wish, otherwise known as the video, my response to the drama. My position was literally just this. Is this image lolly? <laughs> and if Wait, so there we go. That's that's the fucking that is the classic, isn't it? He edited this with the Resident Evil font. He edited this together and looked at it and thought, yep, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> he didn't realize how hilarious and absurd it looked. <laughs> it is the money shot. It is the money shot, yeah. Oh boy. Whoa. So, was a death wish, otherwise known as the video, my response to the drama. My position was literally just this. Is this image lolly? And if so, why? Oh boy, we're in for a doozy. Oh Tipster God, decided to make babe. a 12-minute response video to the whole drama, paired with the amazing Donkey Kong Country gameplay and music, as he talks about the situation which should have been settled ages ago. But this is why I was asking the questions I was asking. We knew all about the character that was depicted in this image and yet judgment calls were being made about it and i was just looking for a bit of clarification just to be sure but tipster it's lolly it's not like a false rape allegation it doesn't, it doesn't need this intricate analysis rum likes a picture that clearly looks like a child if it was a 45 year old that would change barely anything yes I'm not yes 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 the other aspect as well the fact that you did an intricate video going into it where you could have just gone you know like, you could have, there's a number of points where you could have backed down and just taken a massive L and just hoped that you could move forward without it being a massive problem, right? But no, and numerous points he didn't, and then the other L is making this big video, whereas what he could have done is just gone, listen guys, I fucked up real bad, okay? I wanted to defend this friend of mine, I was way too aggressive in doing so, I was totally wrong, it was obviously lolly from the start and I should have recognised that. Boom, you're done. It probably is still going to be quite damaging. It's like a nuke has gone off and you're trying to clean up the radiation. Okay? That's what we're dealing with. And that's the best chance you've got to clean up as much of the radiation as possible is doing something like that at that stage. But he still couldn't even do that. And he had to fucking make a video explaining why he was actually being reasonable in this situation. I'm not even going to say that... And I was just looking for a bit of clarification just to be sure. But Tipster, it's lolly. It's not like a false... Allegation. It, doesn't, it doesn't need this intricate analysis. Rum likes a picture that clearly looks like a child. If it was a 45 year old, that would change barely anything. I'm not even going to say that Rum purposely liked the tweet or is into Lolly. She has said it was an accident, but Tips' mental gymnastics to justify all this is just so insane.
Which, by the way, that's another thing. Everyone keeps saying I dived into the situation head first without knowing anything about the situation. Yeah, we can rebuild versus there were no survivors. Yes, exactly. And that I hadn't even spoken to her. Dog, I was literally in call with her when I made my initial tweet. This community is so oh desperate God, to expose dude. the next big creep or pedophile that f the molehill, y'all made a mountain out of a f grain of sand. No, tipster, you are the only... Part of that is true. I do think there's always a hunger to expose the next person. That is, you know, obviously everyone's up for content, right? But yeah, it's very clear that people are looking for the next big thing. I mean, I felt it a bit this month. I'm like, when's the next big drama going to drop? And then it's like, not new drama, but it's a bit of a rerun. The super mega stuff, I think, is going to have some legs, hopefully. But um, but yeah, I mean, that bit's true. But it wasn't even everyone else that was making a mountain out of a molehill. It was him. He's the one that made it a mountain out of a molehill. Y'all made a mountain out of a grain of sand. No, tipster, you are the only person here who made a mountain out of something. No one mentioned yep. you until you came in. Rum looks worse because you got involved and made it into community-wide drama. Yep. Shut up. I am all for criticizing people and even using our platforms to expose legitimately bad people who use and abuse their platforms to prey on and exploit people, especially children. But when we start putting the actions of innocent people under a microscope to find the next villain of the week, something has gone horribly wrong. It's gross, and I, for one, refuse to be a part of that. I refuse to be a part of a community that fosters that kind of behavior. For f**k's sake. We used to be the community that would dig deep into a topic to clear the names of innocent people and have even vindicated people with evidence who were previously condemned due to outright lies in the past. Okay. <laughs> As Toast Fire already pointed out. But. As Toast Fire already pointed out. Okay, what am I even trying to say here? I need to fucking get with the program today. Uh, it's very simple. It's very fucking simple, okay? These are complicated situations with various moving parts that are difficult to get to the bottom of, one way or another, okay? Right? We're talking about someone liked an image that was obviously a fucking kid. Boom. End of story. That's it. That's all there is to it, okay? You don't need any more analysis. Analysis over, okay? Yeah, they liked it. They liked it fucking by accident, they claim. Um... Yeah, that seems like a bit of cope, but, you know, and then you move forward from it, you know? Also, this this rum person, who the fuck even are they? Or are they, like, a particularly prominent person? What was the account that tweeted out? I recognise them when Mutual's on Twitter. But, like, it wasn't... Was it even causing, like, a big stir? Were people really talking about it that widely? Or was it just like, oh, this random fucking Orbiter Spurg like something, you know? Yeah, my dementia again. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, it's just, I can't imagine that this was wide discourse. I think people were just like, probably saw it. Is it Alex? Is that the guy's name? He's quite a funny guy. I uh, often, you know, see his tweets on the timeline and I have a little chortle or whatever it is he's talking about. But yeah, no, he's, um. I mean, but the point is, I don't think he's creating like massive discourse waves tweeting out about some rando fucking rumbly bumbly person like in a fucking, do you know what I mean? Yet somehow, we got from there to here. Okay, so this Stupid. is the point for me when Tipster went off the deep end. I'm Alex, yeah. Alex Gekmo, yes, that's it, Alex Gekmo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think if, if I saw that correctly, I think the way that he put the tweet out was he didn't, you need to put a, a period before you put the, the at in, because otherwise it doesn't go out to your followers or something. So even the way that I think he tweeted it out I don't think it was getting put out widely either. And I presume it probably didn't even have that many views, you know? I'm sorry, but let's compare the situations. Rum, your friend, got caught accidentally liking- Rum, comms, artist, okay. Minus do not interact, gamer girl energy. <sighs> Ooh. Damn, this whole fucking thing is Tipster's whole weakness, isn't it? A ...picture of Lolly, and you defended her for hours on end. Then we have Slazo, falsely accused of- I'm sorry, these are not comparable. Tipster, you are insane. So, yeah. just to recap, Tipster's friend accidentally liked a sexual picture of Lolly. Tipster went on... Hey, look, there's a tweet. Oh, no, Tipster's I got it wrong. Sorry, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. He did put the period in. I made a mistake. I was mistaken.
19.7k views, but 28 likes and 7 retweets. <laughs> oh my god, i got to respond to this straight away. Dude, this is the kind of thing you can just ignore. I mean, Rump and Dump probably could have fucking ignored this and it wouldn't have caused a problem. You know, like, but this, <laughs> oh, man. oh, rough, rough stuff. Friend accidentally liked a sexual picture of Lolly. Tipster went on multiple streams arguing that the character that clearly looked like a child wasn't a child. He argued to look into the age of this character and like sexualized Lolly on Twitter in some sort of solidarity with his friend. One of his biggest arguments was comparing the character's breast size, which was then rendered completely null and void when it was found out that the character was not a girl, but a boy. And then Tipster couldn't let it go and made a video comparing the entire situation to false allegations. I was watching this and I was so confused on how Tipster's brain worked to the point where this was an actual point he was making. It's amazing how Tipster managed to get into a situation which just shows off all of his worst flaws, as well as tying him to one of the weirdest topics you could ever defend. It's a situation that has an obvious resolution and could have been easily solved if Tipster stayed out of it, but he just couldn't help himself. He was literally going from show to show to defend the Shota. This was the indicator to jump ship. However, his closest friends in the community had similar criticism for him, but at the end of the day, they still wanted him around. Is this a witch hunt for us? No. No, and, and honestly, just to be clear. Uh-oh. Oh no, Nicholas the Oreo in his pre-Tipstorian days. Ooh. <laughs> Where is that guy? He should be fucking loving this, eh? None of us are saying Tipster's got to go anywhere or anything like that. Yeah. I'm just making fun of him. I want online. Tipster it's in the community. Look, I, mean, I am making community. fun of him. But Tipster had enough. With the exception of a few people in this community. Oh. There's the there's the pre the pre Tipster um hate train fucking situation that caused all the guilt that led to the whole shit on him so much. Listen, hey, we've all been there, okay? We've all we've all defended people who turned out to be complete retards. And well, when you were defending them and you didn't realize, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Community that I consider friends. I think the rest of you all are a bunch of fucking parasites and I want nothing to do with that. And yes, I will die on that hill. After the controversies involving AP and him defending his friend for Lolly, Tipster started moving away from the commentary community and cozying up to other online spaces, in particular, Kethel's. For those unaware, Kefels oh. is a somewhat known online trans activist who oh. I guess got a fame from ratioing people on Twitter. She's oh! He's also well known for a campaign against the online forum Kiwi. Oh Farm. my god, DK! Oh, thank god, this is included. Fit Kefels on the thumbnail! Boom! That'll probably do fairly well, won't it? Eh? Dude, we got two banging segments in today. We got the fucking super mega stuff, and then we've got a fucking. Tips to hatred video, which has been doing quite well this month. And we can also put Kefels on the thumbnail. Let's go. Easy views. Using a Twitter following and spearheading the hashtag drop Kiwi Farms movement. Kefels has gone on campaigns to de-platform multiple creators. She's falsely accused Chud Logic of being a pedophile. Falsely accused Destiny of being a rapist. She raised $100,000 for a lawsuit and no one knows what happened with the money. She's under fire for allegations related to a server Catboy Ranch. And she's promoted the shipping of black market hormones for kids Ooh. to go behind their parents' back and transition. More relevant to Tipster, Kefels also wanted to de-platform him along with his commentary friends back in 2022. And some of her associates actually made partial progress. Oh my god, Gayf, no way! Oh my god. Do you guys know who Gayfesh is? <sighs> so fucking... Dude. That is some that is some hilarious. I mean it's not really it's not really big enough or worthy enough to go into, but yeah, this guy's a total freak. A complete freak. If you think I'm a chaser, if you think Chod Logic is a chaser, wait till you see this guy. 
progress in this. But now, in Big 2023, Tips was interacting and liking all of the tweets and acting like they were best buds. Now, Tips' friends in the commentary community saw this interaction, and they were kind of weirded out because they've all been critical of her in the past. But at the end of the day, they let Tips to do whatever he wanted to do peacefully. And if he left peacefully, maybe this video wouldn't have been made, or Tips wouldn't have become a lol cow. But instead, he started blocking people in the commentary community over a meme about how the LGBT community had forgiven him. Oh my god, him. Then dude, Tips no decided way. going on his streams and saying how good Kefels' community had treated him, allegedly accusing the commentary community of inflicting serious harm on his mental health. So if Tipster really did say that the commentary community seriously impacted his life, that's astonishing, because we've gone through all of Tipster's controversies in this video, bar a couple of small Discord dramas that no one cares about, and could all this really drive someone's mental health off the roof? I mean, he got bodied by some YouTubers in 2021, had his DMs leaked in 2022, and got criticised by a bunch of small commentators and fans. Did that really f*** up Tipster? Further suspicions were raised after a conversation between Orgie RFC and Tipster, where Tipster essentially blames Orgie's audience and the commentary orbiters who criticised him for driving him away from the commentary community. Hey, Nicholas! We are wondering when you are going to show up, mate. Hey, You made that meme. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you made that meme. Of course, obviously. But again, most of these situations were ones that Tipster could have easily stayed out of, and in some cases he directly caused them. There's some stuff in this conversation that we could dig deep into, but look at the video time. We're yeah, it's funny, because uh, actually... Me and, Org me and Orgy didn't really speak at all, I don't think, but there was like a communication we had, which was discussing like maybe doing something together, doing some sort of content together, but then obviously, yeah, he's disappeared. But yeah, I mean, Orgy obviously is someone who, I think Orgy was, was the main woman hater, the primary sort of woman disbeliever, wasn't he? You know? Running over already. The important thing here is that the result of this conversation was people in the community starting to seriously side-eye Tipster, and this was the yeah. foundation for what would be Tipster's turning point. Yeah, this the feelings mutual. You know, I've watched uh, his content on stream. The only problem with uh, with Augie is his laugh is a bit too high pitched. You know, that's the only kind of downside, isn't it? He needs to work on that. I think it's the Asian, the Asian aspect. Point. Personally, if his drama in the commentary community impacted his mental health, I don't really have any sympathy because of how he treated Colton, but that is just my opinion. Now, as I said, many people looked upon Tipster with suspicion, but one person who really wasn't was Boblax, who had been friends with Tipster for years. I haven't really mentioned him and Tipster too much in this video, but these two were pretty close friends. At one point, Tipster even called Boblax his brother. These two were homies. So things started getting heated when in early June, Roblox accidentally leaked one of his alt accounts on Twitter called Throbbin Horsecock. <laughs> This was a shitpost account where the Boblax would tweet once every year, but when he tweeted, it was wild. From wanting to pro Jared and Parasynical to dropping the dreaded N bomb a couple of times, this was a pretty wild account. But what stood out for others was one of the jokes that Boblax made in 2019, where he said, "Trans women aren't real women, but I still f the shit out of them." Now, if oh wait, way, hang on, I fucking wait a second. This must be what it was in reference to. Hang on, let me show you this. Right, 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 right. Let's have a look. I saw this pop up and uh, I was, I just, I didn't know what the fuck it would possibly be about because I'm like, what, what, how, how the fuck is Bo Black's going to get referenced in this? <laughs> so this is Josh Moon, Kiwi Farms, listening to a video made by a piece of bread, the video we're watching. Wherein Tipster and Bo Blacks debate each other on who sucks X cock the best and hardest and most frequently <laughs> is so disgusting. When the fad finally dies, remember the names of the people who championed it for profit. Cutting. Cutting from Josh Moon. Why are you disgusted that I don't hate all trans people, Lamal? You're weird as fuck, man. <laughs> Oh, that's a rough response. That is a rough response because obviously Josh is not saying, oh no, why would you go at Josh Moon and say something's a retarded dude? He's not saying about hating trans people. He's of, yes, exactly, Nicholas. Why do this? What a retard. 
He's obviously not saying he's disgusted. For, it's to do with the cock-sucking shit. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Another page just got added to Bo Blacks' Kiwi fart. Dude, why? Yeah, Nicholas, you need to save your homie, okay? You need to get in there. You need to get in there, dude. Dude. That's crazy. You live your life on your knees, calling men in drag women, paying literal lip service to sex pests. When you wipe your lips, you look up to Neil Mohan. Who the fuck is Neil Mohan? Who the fuck is that? To make sure he's happy. Who's that? You're a slave. When you speak, it turns my stomach. Your life is wasted and I pity you. Oh, the CEO of YouTube. Okay. Fucking hell. Damn. I've always that woman. No, no, she left. She left, of course. Oh, that's the Indian guy, isn't it? Yeah, this is a massive bow black cell. I don't really understand why. <laughs> it's so stupid. He obviously thought that was a massive own. Also, oh, not even at it either. Not even at it either. <sighs> That's rough. So either he saw it on the timeline or alternatively, he searched it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god anyway I'm sure if Bo Black's read quote tweets Josh Moon a couple more times I reckon Josh might come round on this trans issue what do you reckon guys I reckon he might even put a rainbow flag in his bio if you keep uh, quote tweeting enough on this. I'm sure he's very open to, uh, you know, discourse about this and changing his perspective. Anyway, look at this. People were saying Nicholas needs to save him. Well, it looks like Nicholas is already on it. Stop fighting the owner of Kiwi Farms on trans issues, Bo Blacks. <laughs> That's so funny because I did see that pop up and I was like, I was thinking, what the fuck is that about? And then obviously watching this, it's like, oh, that's what that is. Now it makes sense. Now it makes perfect sense. So there we go, guys. A little bit of extra cutting edge breaking news drama for you on the, on this video. A little familiar with Bogus's content or his positions. You yeah, I hear this about... Uh, listen, Mavka, I know that you... I'm pretty sure you've said you're a, a KF guy. Isn't there all these memes that you guys do about Josh either being trans or you like fucking trans or something? Is that not like a big meme? Over there on the farms. Anyway, yeah, dude, that's fucking. Nicholas is on it already. He's already trying. The other problem that you've got with it as well is. You just like he's got it wrong. Josh Moon is not saying that. Oh, it's because you don't hate trans people. It's because he's talking about you sucking dick and stuff. Somewhat aware that he's one of the most progressive people in his community. Throughout his career, he's advocated for trans people and has talked about it multiple times. This is clearly just an old joke. But to Keffels, someone who Bovax had previously talked to about trans issues, this was proof that he and his friends were all transphobes. This frustrated Boblax, who decided to post DMs between himself and Tipster. As Keffels have called him transphobic the month prior, Keffels sent me random unsolicited DMs about me blowing out. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing out backs and sending clips of her tits jiggling, that's a joke. But me, when I make jokes on a parody account called Throbbing Horsecock, that's sexual harassment. 
Damn. Yeah, but Tipster had excused it as just trolling. But now Kev also talking about him being a transphobe because of an old 2019 tweet on a parody Twitter he rarely used. You can see how this kind of invalidates the excuse of it just being trolling months earlier. It's as if Kev also just wanted Ooh. any reason to go at Boblax. Now, despite being mentioned, Tipster doesn't really have to get involved here. Again, just like with DJ Screwdriver and AP, you can't just ignore what people are saying about you and keep your feelings private. But Tipster obviously hasn't yes. learned how to do that yet, so we had to hop in and argue with Bo Blacks. You're mad, and I'm a bit mad too. So okay. who's gonna explain the mad the madness first? I just don't understand why you're leaking my DMs when you're in an argument with Keffels. If you like have a problem with Keffels, that's cool, dude. But like, that's between you two. What's the problem? Like, why are you leaking my shit? Cause you said that Keffels has changed, and you said that Keffels was just trolling and doesn't actually think I'm like transphobic or yeah, whatever. Yeah, we did watch yeah, this one. That and then she jumps day, I didn't, on, on that she jumps day. on the opportunity to get a four-year-old tweet so on a parody account so where nothing has to do with serious. me, bro? What the f does that have to do with me? Why are you leaking my sh Okay, Blows blacks. But how do I make okay. money off depressed people? Hold on, wait a minute. Did Bo Blacks just summon the Eye of Sauron? He must be retarded or gay. Thank you for the 333. Is that Stylo's doing? This stylo made that up. I always laugh when I see blow blacks. It is blows blacks. It's honestly a bit of a mistake, isn't it? Because it is so easy to turn it into blows blacks. Or is it an old meme? Okay. It's the obvious one. How stupid of me, of course. How could stylo come up with something like that? Jesus, you're right. How foolish of me. Leaking DMs is based. DMs are just, yeah. DMs are just, I don't know, man. Like, I've, I've leaked DMs I shouldn't have because it was funny or whatever. I'm a naughty, okay? I'm a naughty, naughty guy. But I don't know. I just think you just got to kind of accept that DMs are probably not private and sacred. And unless you're very good friends with someone, it's probably going to get leaked at some point, right? In regards to a conversation on a completely different day. Because it relates to the situation. No, it doesn't. This is a completely yeah, different does. conversation on a, a, a completely different disagreement you guys had. Wait, it's about Keffels thinking I'm transphobic. Well, yeah, because she sees like the recent tweets that you've made, the, st the other stuff that came out, and she's like changed her mind. Like, okay, maybe I think he is transphobic. Again, a clip that perfectly summarizes this entire debate. Tipster asks why Bobux posts the DMs. Bobux answers by saying because it relates to the current situation. Whoa! She's totally fine with joking around here. But fuck? when she sees a four year old tweet, she calls Bobux transphobic. And then Tipster, on a. Toastified is fucking. What was that about? Why did he include that image? It's totally different. <laughs> Able to go on from there and accept the L, he just moves on to a different question and then loops back around as if Boblax never even answered this question. I said, I can understand that you saying it's a joke, but like you can understand why she would be upset about it, right? No, I can't because we've had in depth conversations about trans allyism in DMs and stuff like that. Oh, oh no. No, she's just fucking going out of her way to attack me for no reason. She wants so me to be transphobic. So why don't you have a conversation with her about it? Why do you got to drag me into this? Because you dragged yourself into this when you went into my DMs and said that Keffels is just trolling and doesn't because she was. Honestly, do you know what's so good now? Okay, you literally just don't have to care. That's the trick. That's the trick that you need to recognize. Is it literally doesn't fucking matter, particularly now. It doesn't matter. Like, who cares, man? <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, literally, the, the words have lost all their power now. Transphobic, racist, misogynist, fucking whatever you want to call it, you know? Yeah. They have an in... Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> Dude, what the <laughs> Bo Blacks blows Blacks. <laughs> Would sell his entire career down the river for one lick of gok excretion. Dude, what is wrong with you guys today? That's gross, man. <laughs> oh my god, it's so gross. Okay, come on. He's trolling you that day. You see the slimy little way to get out of it? Tippy tunnel vision at its best. You're trying to conflate a completely different conversation that happened back in May with something that's happening now. That was a completely they're directly different... related. Average Sheenus and Joe. I would do what? Conversations. 
about me being like transphobic? She, she literally told me that day that she was trolling you. That's why I told you she was trolling okay, you. Okay, and now you know what upset. else it relates to? I'm trolling her on my parody account, and now she thinks that's legit, even though, but she's allowed to troll that I'm transphobic. Like, what? Like, why can she troll, but I can't? I'm just frustrated because, like, I'm getting dragged into this and- See, that's another little tippy tunnel vision. He just slides off the question. It's amazing. I mean, I just didn't think- A little taste of neovaginal discharge. <laughs> what was the thing we saw from that leak? Where they get it done, and then because of the way it's been built up, stuff gets in a certain position. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh think you would mind about me leaking something you would say publicly anyway. dk you started it man what are you want about you fucking participated okay come on you were part of it maybe you should have asked me first <laughs> yesterday don't worry i'm not gonna like release this call or i'm not gonna do some video i don't do commentary anymore i don't give a about this anymore You're that transphobic bow blacks like i'm sorry i don't know if this is your autism but that was a completely different day during the debate bow blacks makes a perfectly valid complaint about how a trans person with a large following calling him a transphobe could affect him and tipster shows no empathy he's truly in he's he's locked in on tippy tunnel vision if you have a problem with it talk to her about it why didn't she talk to me about it instead of going on her twitter and blasting me as a transphobe to a hundred thousand people I don't know, dude. Tips is dying on the hill to defend Keffel's trolling, but will nail Bobax to the cross for doing the same. He's the guy who's crying about Bobax bringing up DMs from the previous month, yet sits idly by whilst Keffel's calls Bobax a transphobe for something he said four years ago. I mean, the bias is shining through like the beams from heaven after racism gets insulted on Discord. Bobax and Keffel's later have a debate, but I do not want to give anyone the torture of listening to Keffel's talk with the speed she's talking at. So, yeah. But isn't it crazy that this is just like the stuff with Tommy C repeating again? Someone who Tipster previously disliked treated him nicely, and he completely burned the bridge with his former friends, taking the opportunity that came to stick the knife in Bo Blacks. Following this debate of sorts, Augie RFC would do a stream reacting to the situation, eventually debating Kefals and later Tipster, and it's just L after L. I'm doing great, man. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing wonderful tonight. What I'm trying to understand is why are you guys so pissed Legendary. about this when Bo Blacks isn't even pissed about this? The whole it doesn't point matter. Of me I'm allowed to Kevl commentate over the whatever the fuck I me, want. No, you can commentate on whatever you want, but I'm telling it's you, like, I, it seems like you're moral about something that Boblax isn't even upset about. Whoa, Tips, you can be using that language like that. What the Yo. fuck? Why are you upset over something oh, yes, that yes, Boblax yes, isn't yes, upset about? Yes. Boblax and I had a conversation this morning, and he's like, yeah, dude, you know, That's I don't really see a problem, like, what you did or whatever. Like, you know, you were trying to mediate. That's irrelevant like, to me. That's the whole point of this. We were mediating a conversation. So you guys are making a big deal making it seem like i backstab bow blacks or some when the whole purpose of that conversation was just to mediate a conversation between him and keffels that's irrelevant to me it doesn't matter what bow blacks thinks i'm allowed to so you don't actually have an I argument want. you don't actually have an argument then. No, my argument okay, is cool. i'm allowed to commentate over whatever the fuck i want if i no, if this call takes place whatever you want i just don't understand why like this is such a big deal when the person who's supposed to you really the sitting this, there as a commentary youtuber deal. going what's the big deal man i'm a what are you saying dude like that's nothing i also like how you like talk oh. i mean look at the end of the day i mean obviously Augie is well within his rights to give his perspective on it, regardless of what the fundamental parties think, right? Like, what the fuck, dude? This is such an insane idea that, like, oh, no, Augie, you can't possibly speak on it because no one really, you know... Like, just just leave it. Just don't fucking come on stream. Augie's not dead. Augie is going to come back at some point, I think, isn't he? I think I understand Nick's interest in exposing covering Tipster now. He was so cold and callous, like a sick sociopath. I would ensure that dude never gets away with it too. Oh, pivot. Okay. About, like, cool. the the so you Colton lost that situation. point, so just pivot to something else. But okay, let's hear it. No, let's, no, no. I won the Yeah, their sports. tactic is just to scream over each other. That's how Tipster, they win. You That's lost the only too. way this you works. You got completely exposed as a pussy. Dude, you were like loudster in I this stream. A, you talked over a, everybody. I don't Tipster a, had loud. Loudster is fucking great. What the fuck is that? You guys spurking and me. squealing like a pig until you couldn't I answer shit. I genuinely don't give a f what you guys think about oh, me. Oh, so you don't you give a f f That's why you're here. here. That's, that's why you called in, you I don't give a shit, called in. Oh, so, why are you so quiet, man? What's going if on? If there's... 
if there's a little bit of dead air, I was just wondering. What's so up? how exa- What is the secret exactly to being at like, 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 like a healthy relationship with shot streams? Oh, like, go how, yourself, can you just Literally tell me how the yourself. average alcoholic have- can get back to being- Oh! Oh dear. Didn't like that one, did he? Oh shit, okay. Intermission, intermission. Go and subscribe to Toastify. Toastify is great. Okay. And I think I might do a quick shill as well while we're here. Because I've not been shilling enough. I need to shill more. Shill, shill, shill. Shill, shill, shill. Shill, shill, shill. Shill, shill, shill. But guys, if you want to support the stream, there's a multitude of ways you can do that. You know them all already. Money. Thank you. Anyway, let's get back to it. <laughs> I can't be bothered to shill. What's wrong with me? Please, guys. Please. I uh, I need the money. To oh, I don't fucking know. Anyway, come on, let's just get on with it. Remember the super chat, guys. Come on. Shekels, yes. With Tips and now Age taking his place in his new really. leftist anyway, community, matter. it's fair to say that since then his continent has taken a nosedive. S- it's great that he's gone from the toxic drama community to, to, <laughs> to covering topics like kids dying or trans women lactating. So it seems the big left versus right argument for the next few months is going to be about titty milk. Yes, you read that right. Titty milk, lol. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah there was this trans individual who put up an image of saying oh well i've got breast milk now in fact okay i've got an idea. <laughs> so funny there's this stuff i keep seeing on twitter and obviously you know i just keep it in the back of my mind okay that's wonderful but how do i make money off depression thank you for the two dollars your haircut looks like a driving live merging what does that mean? Hey, come on. I need to get my hair cut soon, actually. I'm a beard trimmed. Make myself look a bit sharper. With whatever the fuck's left, that is. Thank you for the two dollars. <laughs> How are you always seeing this trans shit? Stylo. What is this? I saw it because. Nicholas shared it on, on his uh, old account. That's all it was. Dude, what is your fucking problem today, man? I think it's just constant trans stuff, do you? I'm pretty sure it's milk. Prove it. Drink it. Lol. This looks fake, though. Is this not fake? This looks like a fake meat. This looks fake. This has got to be fake, surely. Like, like look. Oop. The profile picture is, you know. I can't help it. Yeah, I think they, uh, I think the people that advocate for that gesture towards like, you know, the classic trans stuff. Oh, there's one study here that says this. I mean... Okay, you that's know, wonderful. I just, I would not I trust. I would not fucking people. trust. <laughs> like, there's so much associated with it, isn't there, in terms of their perception of their own womanhood, right? That I'm just like, why, why on earth would you... Like, well, just give them formula. Just give them the fucking formula. Why on earth would you risk it, you know? With something that's so uncertain and unsure. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Nerd Angle, thanks for the $10. Research and prevention. You wouldn't get this from Gerard. Very true. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you. But how do I make money? Hi, Bully Bully. Thanks for the 20 sec. It's real. I remember when he tweeted it. Right, okay. Chud ending stream early to meet, meet his trans milk dealer. Oh my God, no, it is real. 
Nicholas, you got to charge your phone, bro. Get your phone charged, dude. What are you doing? But there we go. Fresh. Fucking hell, man. Ooh. Chad's not trying to stop it, dumbass. We're trying to have fun here, and that shit's disgusting. Take that to your Matt Walsh channel. Wait, what? <laughs> it's usually a good day for him if he gets above 300 viewers on his stream, or 3,000 people watch any of his videos. And I don't blame them. This guy's content is so sh it's a mental echo chamber of the same five soundboard effects. Yeah, you about my soundboard. I love my soundboard. My soundboard's great. Tipster, nobody in your audience likes your soundboard. And before he banned and blocks literally everyone he used to know, you could regularly catch Tipster ranting about some account with 10 followers who decided to fuck with him in DMs or his chat. Uh, Domino Dominison, your viewership is dropping, my friend. Aren't you the dip who put out the tweet that was like, Yo, dog, look at this 100,000 subscriber YouTuber who only has 42 oh, no. viewers at the start of the stream <laughs> no the stream way. had literally started hadn't even been live for like two minutes and you put out that tweet can you talk about how dishonest you are like holy shit. and even if my viewership did drop that much i don't give a fuck. why do you care it seems like you're the one that cares more than i do oh no tippy why if someone is just firing off shit to be an obnoxious prick just, I don't know, like, like, listen, I get one guy. We all get one guy, okay? So, hey, it is what it is. But it's like, to do it like this, when you just look like a total, like, you, you're, you're taking an L here. You're taking an L here because your viewership is dropping. Your viewership is lower than it used to be, you know? Yeah, exactly. Ali Khan has nailed that, yeah. He's giga-chatting the dead channel allegation. Ugh. Dumbass. Holy sh Hiding, okay. <laughs> we have Domino coming back on an alt account. Hiding my friend Domino from chat will not save your viewership. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just over here interacting with my chat. No. And watching a be a on the internet. How sad is your life that you're obsessed with my numbers? Like, if I don't give a why the do you? Do yourself a favor. Get off of the computer. Go outside touch some grass and i would tell you to touch some ass but clearly you're such a loser that like there's no way anyone would ever touch your dick i mean analytically for tips that woman by the way is melanie mack she's just some fucking rightoid culture warrior broad um yeah i don't know she's i, don't, I mean she's just she's just kind of like all the other right-wing culture warrior broads you know and she eats butter as well. Apparently. Why the so, side? Anyway. Like, there's no way anyone would ever touch your dick. I mean, analytically, for tips, there's not much hope either. Like, uh, he's irregularly given the most brain dead takes from a biased perspective. Like, his take that the Israel Palestine conflict has had a positive effect because it's taking the political pressure off trans people. Obviously, like, what's going on in the, with the Israel Palestine conflict right now, uh, you know, it's a serious issue, so I'm not trying to make light of it or whatever. But one yeah. positive thing that's come out of it is. Right wingers uh, have been busy talking about that uh, and aren't really shitting on trans people anymore. So that's a plus, right? Kids dancing with rainbows is big scare. Oh my god, dude. Harry, to be fair, I don't think that's the point being made here. The point is probably that they don't realize why they're doing what they're doing. Parental influence and indoctrination seem to be what they're getting at here. I know what they're getting at. My point is, I don't care. To be fair, Toast, if I did betray that kind of dishonestly, what do you mean? Which bit? Uh, cr I don't know. Crazy illusion of people thinking a Christian woman makes culture war slop and thirst traps whilst wearing a choker. It was funny when she said the Esla and all the people saw it out, pretending like they just didn't like it because it's cringe and not because they were moulding. Wait, did you say moulding? Wait, what, what was that? Are you saying that people, they were moulding? And perhaps possibly coping too. You are coping, coping and seeing. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seeing. The truth it is scalding, and now you are molding and coping. Coping so hard.
Tips to ruin the song. Honestly, I think it was kind of ruined already. I really do think the Giga Chad meme is uh, run its course. And yeah, I don't know. It doesn't have the same energy it used to, you know? Anyway. But it's not just his former stance on Keffels. Tipster has turned heel and ran away from most of the positions he used to advocate for. Back in 2021, when Keemstar and his wife separated and Keem began dating a 20 year old, Tipster was all for it. Keem, how you doing? Hey, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'll boost you up a little bit, but uh, you're good. What's up? That uh, my girlfriend is hotter than yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she's a pretty good looking girl you did really well for yourself Keem. They, they just all oh man oh no 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 tipster no it's a fucking bookcase moment again it became irrelevant i'm sorry that my career lasted so fucking long that the only people left to like associate with and communicate with are in their 20s but based on that you know what do i do i go on tiktok Keemstar is head over heels in love with his new girlfriend. Oh, fucking hell, man. Why? Why make a video about someone else's relationship like that, dude? Stupid. I go on Twitter, I go on Instagram, I play Fortnite. I Done. have more in common with a 20-year-old, right, than I do with a... 40 year old that i do with a 30 year old that i do with you know what i'm saying so yeah. what are we i ain't yeah. taking no else yeah well it's like i told you before it's like everybody's just mad because you're living your best life so dude cool dude well congratulations uh you look like you're like super happy when you said so, one comment no nope. yeah, i'm super happy now i gotta go tipster me and my girl we gotta play some roblox <laughs> all right take it easy man all right <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, Keem. Uh, why don't you just hop on the call and tell me about how great your girlfriend is and how she's young and tight. <laughs> Dude, it's so insane. It's such an insane idea of content. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Keem. Thanks for coming on, man. Keem's relationship honestly seems pretty good. So it's pretty cringe to talk about her at all. I mean, she puts herself on the internet, you know. It's fine to scrutinize um, people that are public-facing. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. It's like, it's, people just do it because it's funny. That's the reality of it, you know. That's the reality of it. Ooh. They're the same mental age. But 2023 comes around, and suddenly Keemstar's no longer the cool one as Keffels, so now we have to accuse him of being a pedophile. Here's another one, Lyrix. Back in 2022, Lyrix was being made fun of because of some very weird lolly pictures that he liked on Twitter. Now at the time, Tipster defended Lyrix, and he brought this up in his big response video as a point. And second, that's a retarded fucking argument, because I literally gave the same defense to Lyrix last year. Someone who not only doesn't have tits, but also made multiple video sh on me someone no lollycon lyrics uh-oh and also from what i understand the lollycon lyrics defense force has disbanded tragically i've heard on the grapevine is that true i don't think lyrics was 17 at the time though i think he was 19 or something like that but yeah i don't know Obviously, I spoke to that Mr. Sengai about it. Not disbanded, we shifted focus. What do you mean? We're keeping the LLSF branding. LLDF, don't you mean? But yeah, anyway, okay. Well, I think, you know, from speaking to Mr. Sen about it, it the, the, what you need to, basically, the argument is, he had this account where he liked all these images, and the images that there's proof of him liking, whilst they're not explicitly sexual, the argument is there's more stuff that he may have liked that would be worse. But because the account got deleted, we don't know what it is. And obviously, if you want to look at it one way, you could say, um, oh, yeah, I saw a bit of stuff about that. Apparently, Sen messaged um, lyrics. And then he's done a video about it. I don't know what the fucking ins and outs of that are. But in any case, I think that 
based on the argument that we had, it was this idea that there was more um, images that you could have liked, you know? And it's like, okay, so I accept that that's true, that it could be possible that there's more images that you might have liked. But without the proof of that, all you can really do is base it on what, you know, the evidence is, which is that, you know, he likes some very cringe images, certainly, but nothing explicitly sexual. And the problem you've got as well is I think that people will sort of point to other instances where there's lolicon and they'll go, well, what about this and what about this? And it's like, sure, I understand that there's an easy argument to make of, oh, well, there's another lolicon thing here, another lolicon thing there. And it's like, yeah, but these are different. Like, we don't have the explicit proof in case A as we do in case B, you know? Because the thing is, is like, I do, you know, obviously I do like lyrics. I think he's a good lad. Okay, that's wonderful. And but how do I make money? I am obviously going to have a bias people. in that situation. And I wouldn't deny that because, you know, obviously I like the guy. But when I look at it, I'm trying to put that to one side and think, what is there here that I could really be outraged about or think is really bad? And I just, I just don't see it. And I've not been convinced of it. And it seems like the people that are pushing it are just bad actors rather than actually people that are concerned about it, you know? And often it's used as like, a, oh, the commentary community is very hypocritical and it's used as like a kind of broad attack on the commentary community rather than being an actual substantial criticism, you know? And that's true as well. I think that, yeah, Lyrics needs to kind of just take it on the chin and move forward as best as possible, you know? It does feel sometimes like he's maybe trying to avoid it a bit because, you know, rather than just, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, commentary people coming in. Wait, what? Did I get raided? Or we just, what? Yeah, no, sure. He did his, he did his response, I think. LLDF will not stop until he apologizes deeply to Sugar Conroy. Oh yeah, that's the that's the what you guys have been saying. You think that he had to take on Sugar Conroy because he's running from his lollycon past. Is that what, is that the argument? Yeah, I I mean it just it is a very odd, you know, that he is so such an advocate and such a defender of people that are accused of stuff, and then with that he's like much harder on it, you know. Why? Lyrics makes good videos, and there's no lolly in his videos. I don't care about anything else he likes. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, my take on the Chugga Conroy stuff was that the conversation was wrong to have. But, you know, I, d I just don't think there's much more that you can really say or do about it at this stage. But I can understand why some people would look at it and really, and not just as a virtue signal, but really not like it and think it was horrible or whatever. Anyway... Let's continue on. Who arguably didn't deserve my defense, and yet I did it anyway. And his case was even more ridiculous. Several of the images he was called out for weren't even remotely inappropriate, like fully clothed. Lyrics did say that Creamer was right after the conversation. Well, there we go. Non-sexualized characters. It was insane. Bro, it was insane. But uh oh, here comes 2023. Larix is making fun of Tipster, faking DMs with memes. So, what does Tipster say? Faking DMs for relevancy? Damn, dog. You really fell off. Just don't share Lolly on stream again, and maybe everyone in the commentary community won't shit on you again to the point that you cry and run away again. Mother. You literally defended him before. You were one of the only people who defended him. You are the last person who should be making fun of anyone for crying and running away from the commentary community. Tipster has even gone to the point where he has turned on his own religion for his internet community. Tipster was repping the Catholicism. He regularly wore the cross on stream, and much of him includes the same cross to this day. <laughs> Tipster! They got the titster memes going on. Let's go! But whoa, now we're in a different community. Hold up. I want to believe this is real. If conservatives can believe in Jesus, then you can believe this is real. Tipster, your profile picture literally has the fucking cross on it. I'm sorry, but appealing to Sky Daddy doesn't do it for me. Move along.
You'd think after the situation with Rum that Tipster would learn his lesson and probably never get involved with Lolly or anything related to pedophilia, but it seems that he's only continued to get worse since his move to his new community. I mean, the amount of people related to, like, pedophilia that he's defended is astounding. Back in late November of 2022, one of Tipster's friends under the Twitter handle at Amisto made a tweet calling out the artist Sophie LaBelle. So oh, oh my god! I'm glad- oh my god, this is great to bring this into it because this assigned male comics freak has been pumping out insane propaganda about the cast report. Don't worry, I'm not going to go into political trans shit today. Don't worry. But yeah, they are total freak who use an actual image of a child for their disgusting fucking weirdo kid animal bestiality shit drawing. And yeah, they're still just continuing on like nothing fucking happened. It's insane. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think that you would look at an image of a real child. And yeah, I do know about this. I have heard about this before. I know a bit about this situation. I don't know about what I know about what Tipster did, but we'll get to it, okay? But yeah. Fucked up. Sophie is a trans-Canadian cartoonist who was called out after drawing a piece of diaper fur kink art. What makes oh, this even more horrendous is that Sophie oh, uses a real oh, child's picture as a reference image for kink art. And then Tipster gets involved here without any mention, and according to his Twitter user, he tried to argue- Oh my fucking god, dude! Oh, oh. That is fuck it. Oh, it's like this. Fucking baby. Keep kids out of it. Is it really that fucking difficult? Like, seriously. Keep kids out of it. Stuff like that does, you know, obviously I do have quite a strong stomach for internet shit. I can watch someone get torn to shreds and it's probably like, oh, that's a bit fucking, a little bit gross. But obviously as a parent, stuff like that really does disturb me at a very deep level, you know? It's so fucking grotesque to think that some fucking despicable pervert, pedophile, would do that. Oh, God, it's just, it just doesn't bear thinking about, you know? Oh. Okay, here we go. Argue that this wasn't sexual. Philena Misto hit back by saying that it was sexual, this was diaper fur art. Look it up. And even then, that didn't convince Tipster. It was only after he realised his statements could be quote unquote twisted that he took down his tweets and moved on. It was only until March 2nd, 2023, when Philena Misto pointed out that Sophie LaBelle had worked with kids and promoted her comic to kids, making. This is another example as well of where Tipster will do this thing where he'll clearly recognise that he was wrong about something and rather than just admit it and, and take the L, he'll wait until there's like some new information that comes forward that enables him to point to that, to act like that's the reason that he's changed his mind when it's very clear he'd already fucking realised he was retarded for doing this, you know? And this is another example of that. Oh, what? That's new information? Oh, I've changed my mind now on that. Let's read this out there because I want to get all the deets. November 22nd, 2022. I called out the artist Sophie LaBelle for making a comic trying to downplay a past diaper fur art piece using a real kid as reference for kink art. Tipster shortly after chose to do something similar as with the lolly art and argue if it's something sexual. When I explained that it's diaper fur, I hoped it would be enough, but no. For him, it wasn't enough to convince him it's something sexual. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what other purpose do you think that image serves? Especially when you're tracing a real child's image. Like, dude. When I experienced diaper fur, no. For him, it wasn't enough to convince him it's something sexual. I remember how uncomfortable it was to look up what were the hashtags she supposedly used men, and even then for him, it still wasn't convincing enough that adult diaper lovers are a kink thing. 
platform. Phil and Amisto hit back by saying that it was sexual. This Do I think he's into it? No. Well, mm. <laughs> I don't know about that anymore. But it still was hella weird to argue about the piece. It's such an obvious... It's just so easy, easy. It's so easy, dude. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Do you know how he... Okay. Do you know how fucking easy this is to call out? Right? You're going to have your minds blown if you didn't know about this already. Essence of Thought. I can't find the thing. Essence of Thought made a video calling this out. Essence of Thought was willing to call this dis dis disgusting degeneracy out for what it is. But Tipster couldn't. <laughs> You fucking lost the plot, dude. Ethel, Ethel, Ethel called it out. It was diaper fur art. Look it up. And even then, that didn't convince Tipster. It was only after he realised his statements could be quote. He then deleted the stuff and said in an hour's well deleted tweet that he took it down because he didn't want people to maliciously twist his statements. Quote unquote twisted that he took down his tweets and moved on. It was only until March 2nd, 2023 when Felaine Amisto pointed out that Sophie LaBelle had worked with kids and promoted her comic to kids, making this art look even worse. Is that true? Yikes! She was teaching at an elementary school from what I got. Yeah, that's a yikes for sure. and later toured through schools to show kids a comics about trans 11-year-olds. Tipster reached out and then gave an update. I honestly forgot about that shit, but I seen that post this morning was like, bruh, what the fuck? Yeah, back then we had an argument because you didn't agree that using the baby as a base count as sec as a base. This you didn't agree that using this baby as a base counts as sexualizing a minor. I know you and I had a disagreement about this person before. But later on, someone found a tweet of them admitting to it being a kink. And I was like, yeah, I'm out. Fuck that lol. Yeah, I didn't get the artist's thought process. I often find people jump into conclusions on the intentions of things and it gets frustrating. But I'm super reasonable to people who are willing to hear my perspective and understand where I'm coming from. Which is why I'm still friendly with you. You're willing to understand my point of view, even if you disagree with it. As of the tweet coming out that admitted it was King Car, I no longer stand by my prior statements on it. It wasn't really the fence. More like I didn't understand the issue. It was coming from a place of ignorance. Kind of like the recent lolly shit. Saying he no longer stands by his argument only after he saw a post of her admitting that her drawing was a kink. Whilst tips of tweets of defending Sophie are no longer archived, their DM conversation on March 2nd where he refers to it is still available. But it doesn't stop here. In mid-2023, Chris Tyson of Mr. Beast fame started talking publicly about the transition, which caused a lot of controversy. But among it all was Chris's past obsession with Lollicon, and in particular, the drawings of Shadman, a Twitter artist known for his sexualized drawings, Ooh. often of children. Shadman is the same guy who drew the 11-year-old LT Corbis and Keemstar's 7-year-old daughter in overtly sexualized ways. This is also the same guy who drew Daphne Keem from the Logan films, whose actor was 12 at the time, being and abused. Shadman is like the final boss of Lollicons, so when people found old tweets of Chris wanting to crank it to Lolly, and them having a physical copy of Shadman's sexualized art pieces of a character that clearly looks like a child, questions were raised. Sure, people liked Shadman back in 2016, but no one bought his art and made it a, quote, centerpiece of their living room. So, how does Tim- Oh man, that's rough. That is rough stuff. Ugh. We know this one. We did this recently, didn't we? I think I've seen this one before. <laughs> Tips are reacts. All right, guys. So as you know, there's been a lot of people on the internet making a big deal about the fact that Chris Tyson from the Mr. Beast crew came out as gender non-conforming recently, and they're trying to like make a lot of outrage and drama surrounding somebody basically just trying to live their life. But it's gotten to the point where people started <laughs> digging into like old credit theirs and stuff. Like Wait, what's that? What's that? I can see at the top left. Credit. At Nicholas Diorio. Like that to find some reason to cancel them. And the latest thing is that apparently Chris Tyson is a pedophile because he made some edgy jokes about Lolly and kids. Now, I gotta be honest, they're not the kind of jokes that I personally would make, but we've literally gotten to the point where making edgy jokes makes you a pedophile. I kid you not, that's how low the bar for pedophilia has become. At this point, give it like a month or two, and you'll be considered a pedophile just for breathing the same air as children. <laughs> oh, he 
Oh my god, dude. What was that there? <laughs> dude, he's fat. He did him dirty there, didn't he? Even fake group chats try to doesn't get leaked. Yes, true. True. Very true. Oh, he's bringing up the Shad Bay stuff. I don't know if... I don't know if I've heard anything about Shad Man and Chris being friends. I know there was a controversy involving the fact that uh, Chris allegedly owned... Like, there was a picture he posted on Twitter of him owning, like, a piece of artwork by Shad Man. And I've seen the artwork in question. I'm not going to show it on stream for obvious reasons. Whoa. But uh, the artwork looked like it depicted someone who was of adult age. It looked like somebody who was very petite, kind of like a Belle Delph. <laughs> he cannot stop he cannot stop himself bean type figure it might have even been a drawing of Del delphine i'm not really sure but it was something to that degree right and so i mean my issue with that was shadman's a very controversial figure okay Dude, oh, the guy that is known for drawing pictures of kid YouTubers in a sexual way. Yeah, I'm sure he was just depicting an adult in this one. Dude, what a fucking retard, bro. That's it. That's it. Lolly loving tipster strikes again. How can someone that isn't into it, even perhaps by accident, at a Vosh moment, continue to defend this shit in every turn? I'd actually forgotten about the... Um, Sophie LaBelle thing, the fucking assigned male comic thing. I'd actually forgotten about that one. So yeah, that was, uh, and then this as well. Jesus, man. I do recall this one, but I didn't know. I Maybe I did. I can't remember if I watched this or not. But in any case, this is like a crazy defense of this for like literally, again, no reason. No substantial reason. Okay. Very controversial. They have drawn some really f***ed up in the past, okay? And so I will say this. I wouldn't be supporting Shadman. I don't know if he purchased that artwork or just printed it out or something like that. But I wouldn't be signal boosting or supporting Shadman's oh. work because of his history. Uh, but either way, like I've seen the artwork and I don't personally think the artwork is anything questionable. Bro, not again. Tips that the girl has braces and a missing tooth is being drawn by a pedophile. Okay, but of course. But how do I make money off depressed people? He can't stop dying on Lowly Hill. I stand by my first super chat log. Thank, thank you for the five dollars. Also, Belle Delphine is not a good person to use as an example because Belle Delphine does pedo baiting shit. Um, there was an image that got shared in my Discord, I think, when there was some sort of conversation about it on stream, and it was Belle Delphine in like a kid's bedroom with like a Toy Story vest on, and it was like, yeah, this is pedo bait. <laughs> like this is clearly an obvious fucking pedo bait, dude. There's no two ways about it. Because, yeah, I knew that there were, like, you know, she's done, obviously, like, weird shoots and stuff. But that was, like, crazy pedo bait, you know? She's just, she just likes Woody. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bad example to use because it's like you're comparing it to someone who is trying to look for as young as possible. Of course, it wouldn't end there. You guys heard of Natty Forsyth, Natherix, Scrimzox, any of those names? Oh my god, I I need to look into the Scrimzox stuff. Names ring a bell? Well, they're a Roblox YouTuber who got chased out of every community they joined because of their weird past. Natty is known for sexually messaging multiple minors online, as well as being openly sexual to their mostly underage fan base and, oh. and sending gore to minors on Discord. They've also posted a video advocating for maps, or minor attracted persons. After Tipster left the commentary community, Natty Forsyth was one of the known people in his circle of friends. Reminded that Tipster showed his Discord DMs on stream. Well, I don't think Lerix is one to talk about that, is he? Hey? Leaky Lerix, huh? He's not one to mention that, I don't think. Oh, oh, just revealed more <laughs> embarrassing, awkward behind the scenes information. Oops, accident. Okay, guys, accident once again.
Revealing that he's also talking to not only the resident retards, Jalen and Keffels, but also Natty Foreskin. Definitely made the right decision leaving commentary, homie. The people you're friends with are much better people. Natty Forsyth, eh? Oof. And keep in mind, everything I've told you has been well known and documented for a while, but Tipster still willingly associated with this person for months. Natty Foreskin says, please turn your camera back off. Um, okay, there will be no calling him a pedo in my, or, or sorry, her. There will be no calling <laughs> her a pedo in my chat, all right? I know people have their opinions on Natty, and it's like, whatever, y'all can have whatever opinion you want, but uh, no calling them a pedo in my chat. Relax, okay? It wasn't until September 2023 when Natty did a sleep stream in her underwear, where Tipster finally saw it as a step too far. But Wait, what? When Natty did a sleep stream in Roblox drama commentary YouTuber Natty Forsyth has admitted to doing a sleep stream in... Huh! Underwear to most likely under 18 Roblox fan base. In her underwear, where Tipster finally saw it as a step too far. But this is only after Jaylene stream cutting her off, by the way. The situation is indefensible, and the fact that they can't be honest about the fact that it's wrong is just insane. I can't blame anyone who disavows cut ties at this point. I have to. AGP! 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 AGP, AGP. But seemingly none of the other stuff seemed to bring any suspicion up. Why? Why give the benefit of the doubt to these clear cut cases? In February 2024, Tipster lounge. got the most attention he's got since leaving the commentary community, which was when political streamer and local horse by Vosh accidentally revealed his folder full of lolly porn on stream. What? And Vosh's ownership of Lollicon put a lot of his strange and questionable takes that he'd argued in the past regarding CP into even more questions than they had previously. If you're not paying for child pornography, then there is no argument in favor of moral. Yo, hey, DK, look at that. See, we can put Tipster on a bit smaller, Keffels and Vosh. We can have the whole fucking re recent drama, fucking clickbait gang on there, dude. Let's go. How does one get into the pro rate council? There is an initiation ceremony that you must go through. You know what it is. You know what it's going to be. You can probably figure it out, okay? It is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship <laughs> and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. Before the Dude, how did testify? Okay, I don't want to speak out of the, you know, I don't want to speak out of turn and then think maybe not, you know. Well, why don't you find it, Chud, and I can't? I'm just surprised that there's no clips of that because that was banded about for ages recently. That's crazy. It sounded like it's been fucking listened to through a tin can or something. Before the folder leaks, these takes were excused by some of Vosh's defenders because no one had any evidence that he was ever attracted to children, and they were all just used in theory to counter other moral arguments. But then the folder got leaked and people started getting really weirded out. One of the people who noticed this was Ethan Klein of H3H3, who decided to go on stream and make fun of Vosh and his takes to thousands of people. But Tipster decided to drop his take, dying on Lolly Hill in defense of Vosh a year after his defense with Rum, saying the same shit as before. We don't know the age, even though people have found the images, and it looks like a child. Tipster's take was, let's laugh and move on, and then Careful sided with him. H3 responded by being like, that's pretty weird, and then Careful and Tipster made this issue about Lollicon. Oh my god, dude, I okay. We have been so spoiled this year, man. That drama was just out of control, wasn't it, eh? Fucking hell, man. What a great drama that was. It was so funny. H3 went in hard, didn't they? But yeah, anyway. Into a trans issue. It shouldn't be acceptable for people who are supposedly leftist or progressive to pedo jacket trans people. We are already the target of that from the right. Incredibly disappointing to see from people who should know better. Keep in mind, H3H3 never said anything about trans people. It's just Keffels that brings it up. After this gruesome twosome got bodied by Ethan Klein, more people started to dig into Tipster's past and all these weird takes we've gone over, resulting in a video where Tipster addresses all of these and doubles down on his Chris Tyson take, ending in this cringy bit where he throws out all the anime he has. This whole Ooh. situation has honestly ruined anime for me so 
much that I, I never want to watch anime again. I don't want anything to do with anime. I got my waist bin here and I got some of my anime. We got Death Note, one of my favorites. Fuck it, throw it in the bin. We got some Dragon Ball Z, another great anime show. Throw it in the bin. Robotech seems pretty harmless, but who knows? Maybe there's some lolly in there. Throw it in the bin. Ease, based on one of my favorite RPG franchises, in the bin. Hell, I've got video games that are anime inspired. Those go in the bin too. Uh, Ease, the video game, gone. The Final Fantasy games, there's probably some lolly in there somewhere. Get rid of them. Uh, oh, Final Fantasy VII Remakes, gotta go. Uh, Catherine, pretty sure there might be something sussy in there. Let's get rid of it. And just for good measure, Ethan calls people he views as lollicons, he calls them lollipops. So we'll get rid of lollipop chainsaw just to be on the safe side. I'm so sick of anime at this point. I want nothing to do with it. No more anime in my house. Rough. That was a rough watch. Just very overwrought and unnecessary, you know. <laughs> Pretty sure this collection of anime I mean, might be. Yeah, that's another. Yeah, that's another good point as well, isn't it? Oh well, I've got this anime here. It might have lolly in it, so I'm going to get rid of it, dude. No. Oh dear. No, no, it's not about your opinion. No, it's not about your opinion. I didn't even whatsoever. come here to talk about like this stupid. All right. Like, I came here this? for a completely different conversation. Yeah, that's fair like, enough. Which I is... didn't even want to talk okay. about this stupid Vosh shit anymore. Wait, like, wait, it's so, like, it... I, I think wait, it's really that's annoying fair. to that's me. It's like, that's people fair. misrepresent, like, what I say is me defending Lolly, and I'm not defending, like, Lolly, okay? Like, I think it's, like, yeah, it's really f***ed up that some people, like, engage oh, with this sh for sure. But, like, I don't, I I'm don't defend this shit. I'm not saying defending lolly right i'm saying you're defending the sweeping look i I'm... told you it was a bad idea for me to come on this show and like I i'm out of here now when you line up all the people that tiff has defended it makes him look like a pretty weird guy who you wouldn't trust around your kids and i see why people think about it like that especially considering tipster has accused others of the same thing with barely any basis but despite all this from the bottom of my heart i don't think tipster is a lolly con or a pedophile I'm thinking that's a lot more plausible after this video. <laughs> Look, the problem you've got, I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big uh, evidence person, okay? And I just think that it's kind of like the Vosh thing, right? Like the reason that the Vosh thing was so compelling that he was into it is because of all the shit he said before, you know? And listen, it's like, if, if you think he is, then that's fine. You know? But um, but yeah, you know, if you, th I'm not, um, you know, I would not argue with someone. If someone was to say to me, "Well, I think he is," I'd be like, "Well, there's enough, there's enough kind of circumstantial shit that I'd be like, okay, I can understand why," you know. But I mean, dude, it's so insane that uh, he's got these endless dramas where he's defending it. But I think there's, there's always, there are differing reasons, but there's always a reason you can point to as to why he did it, you know. It was a fucking goth mummy he was defending. It was the Vosh thing. It was the clout thing or something like that. The only thing that is a bit like what is the lyric stuff, right? Because it's like there wasn't really a, a noticeable reason that he defended it there. Hmm. Lolly wig is off the goop. <laughs> I think he's a leech. Tips' oh. entire career has just been feeding off people who have more influence or are more talented until they get tired of coddling him after he continues to make dumb mistakes, and then at the first opportunity, he will strike and change teams. It's a pattern that's been going on since 2019. Tipster has never stuck retard, to his yeah. morals. All that he's been doing for years is fitting in, and he's still doing it right now. The reason I don't think he's a lollicon or a pedophile is because three out of the four people he's defended are trans, and with the other one, Bosch, he sided with using trans people as a shield for him. Tipster does not care about what these people
What about lyrics? People have done. He cares about who these people are. And if Tipster really yeah. wants to help the communities that he cares about, the first step he should take is getting a new hobby that isn't YouTube, because he's garnered such a reputation that anything he associates Yo. with has the stamp of an untrustworthy, weird, vindictive, emotional man-child with a history of hypocrisy and defending lolliporn. Or you can just not listen and keep digging down. Until next time, stay safe and stay toasty. Toastify, great channel. Subscribe to them immediately. And you know what I've just realised, guys? Do you know what I've just realised? Ooh, uh-oh. Nicholas is going to be loving this. Nicholas is going to be rubbing his little Jewish hands together at this. I've just searched for Tipster here. And I've got Bo Blacks. I've got our video about it. Toastify, Tommy C, Toastify again. Dude. <laughs> oh, man, that is rough, dude. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Tipster, 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 eh?